It is 12.30. We're gonna eat in half an hour. And this has been the craziest week. I've done uh, three hospitals in uh, three different days. Oh, everything went well. It was just some checkups that I need, a checkup that I need to uh, need to have. Everything's going fine. So, but uh, that left me very tired. I really don't want to do anything complicated. So I thought, um, how about a two ingredient sauce for the pasta? Actually, I would say one ingredient for the sauce. No, it's not oil. Other times we're gonna start with guanciale. If, as we did before, we're gonna cut a piece. We're gonna remove the skin that it's hard and not edible, and then the rest we're gonna cut it in slices. You can make it in thinner slices or in thicker slices or in squares, but I like to make it in in sticks because the optimum would be to have a piece of fat and a piece of lean uh, in the same stick. Be careful not to cut yourself. And then just slice it in pieces, in small pieces. It's gonna be just the two of us today, so I think this is gonna be enough. The guanciale will render it a lot melt a lot of this stuff that will turn into fat and that you don't have to throw away by any means. If we were using pancetta, pancetta is less fatty so we would have had it a little bit of uh, oil. Today we're gonna learn together what amatriciana, carbonara and grisha have in common, where it comes from and how they're made. Cacio e pepe is one of the oldest no, dishes in Italy. Right. Essentially, uh, we know it as a dish since the 1300s. So, cacio e pepe is just simply pasta uh, seasoned with cheese, cacio, and pepper. Pepe. So, we start with cacio e pepe. If we add guanciale, here we end up adding grisha which is what we're doing today, which is just... After the grisha, we add an egg, we're gonna end up having carbonara. But if to the grisha, we add tomato, pomodoro, we're gonna end up having a matriciana. It is that simple. And with this, uh, the lesson on... <laughs> oh, come on. Turning on the flame. You hear? This is the sound of heaven. See? We're gonna let it go at a medium to low flame for about 10 minutes and see what happens at the end. This is about three minutes later. You see all the fat. So, that's it. We're here. We're done. I just put the pasta water up and we could just gonna I'm gonna turn off here. We will finish cooking the grisha in the pasta pan with the sauce, which means that we will partially cook the spaghetti in the pasta water and then transfer it into this pan and let it cook along with the juice, the which is essentially fat, and a little bit of pasta water until it makes a cream like a sort of juice that will be wonderful on the pasta oh my gosh I'm already <laughs> I really want to eat this pasta is boiling salt 
spaghetti. Please, again, I think I told you another time, do not break the spaghetti, just fold them and cover again. We're gonna boil the spaghetti for about four minutes and then transfer them into here. Here we are. Pasta is terribly undercooked, so this is just about four minutes cooking instead of the usual nine, ten. And we're gonna put it directly here. And we're gonna finish the cooking exactly as we would cook risotto we're gonna let the pasta absorb all this good juice under it and then when it starts to sizzle we're gonna add pasta water a little bit at a time until we reach the full cooking and at that time we will not only have perfectly cooked pasta but there will be also a nice uh, creamy uh, sauce at the bottom of the pan We taste it, you know. Mm. Perfetta al dente. Allora, just a bit more pasta water and some cheese. Yeah, I know. It should be pecorino romano, but we really don't like pecorino romano in any pasta. And you see how juicy and creamy. This is going to be awesome. Okay. So, Mario. Salve. <laughs> I'm not really making plates, you know, that are complicated. This is just our everyday meals. And, and I feel really lucky that we can have this stuff. There's a lot of pasta left. You know what it means? We're going to make a frittata di spaghetti later. A little bit of pepper. Perfetto. Si, si, this is how silly we are. Yum. <laughs> I love it. I've added just a little bit of cheese, and now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. 